are five things that you should know about sepsis. I'm Kathleen Andres. I'm a pediatric nurse practitioner and the clinical lead for the sepsis program at SickKids. While most infections resolve safely on their own or with treatment, sepsis is a life-threatening medical emergency that occurs when the body has an extreme response to infection that causes injury to vital organs. Sepsis can result from any type of infection in any part of the body, like a urinary tract infection, pneumonia, or even the flu. While infections from bacteria are the most common cause, viral, fungal, and parasitic infections can lead to sepsis. People who are at higher risk for infection are also at higher risk for sepsis. This might include babies, children with weakened immune systems or complex chronic illnesses, those who've had recent surgery, and children who have a medical device that stays in their body. Sepsis can look different in different people, and many of its early symptoms can resemble common illnesses. Early signs of sepsis might include a racing heartbeat, fast or difficult breathing, extra sleepiness or confusion, Fusion, severe pain or restlessness, skin that is blotchy, pale or cool, and or decreased urination. It's also important to know that sepsis may not always present with a fever. You should feel empowered to ask your healthcare provider about sepsis if your child is showing any concerning signs or symptoms. Simply saying the word sepsis is powerful in that it brings the possibility of sepsis into the forefronts of the minds of your care team. Preventing infections is the most effective way to prevent sepsis. Immunizations are a safe and effective way to prevent many infections that could lead to sepsis like influenza, pneumonia, and meningitis. Regular hand washing and diligent cleaning of cuts and scrapes are other important ways to reduce the risk of infection.